Hello Capricorn, this is Leonard with Winged Mary T Tarot and I'm doing your tarot reading for the month of May. Sorry I've been gone for a while, but I've just been dealing with all this energy that's going on in the world right now, and now I'm back. Um, but I'm going to be doing your reading for the month of May, and I... Do ask if you have any suggestions for a pick a card reading to put them down in the comments because I may be doing a few more um, pick a card readings this month because of just the whole energy that's still going around in the world and that's probably the easiest thing to do right now uh, versus doing um, full-blown readings right now but I am using the Making Magic Aboriginal Dreaming Fortune Cookies and Starseed Oracle Cards and the Aqua, uh, the Aquarian Tarot, the Sun and Moon Tarot, the Sa White Sage Tarot. But let's go ahead and get into your reading. So you have a lot of commitment in your life right now. Commitment to yourself, commitment towards others, commitment towards your family and just responsibilities going on in your life. But you have dreams, celebration, gratitude, and magnificence. Which goes along with Felicia, Felix Felicius and Dragonfly. So it's talking about how you just bring the light to a room whenever you just enter it. Especially for those who you are committed to. And there's a lot of gratitude going along with it. And you do have responsibilities, and once you do um, complete your commitments, there will be opportunities that come towards you, um, because it will be a magnificent celebration for you, and it will go along, along in line with your dreams. So if you have... Pay attention to your dreams, because they may be telling you certain things in your life right now. So keep a dream journal if you can, and just write things down. Put it in your notes in your phone if you're able to. And yeah. Go ahead and get on into the tarot for Capricorn for the month of May. Mm -hmm. Things 
things are going full speed ahead with you, with the chariot, as the truth has been revealed. You have your guard up, but it's only because you've been arguing with others in your life. And it's just having to have the patience in in your overall love life. Yeah. But your passions will be renewed. And if you're in a committed relationship already, your significant other is entering into an emperor mode regardless of what they are um, status wise or whatever that yeah they're entering into emperor mode and just being your emperor to the empress because we have the two of cups here Although there will be some challenges, um, um, waiting for finances to come in and waiting for new, this new opportunity that may be coming in, especially with these two aces here. But, Let's go ahead and clarify some of these cards. So why is the Ace of Swords here? Fated decisions about your love life that you will be making a final decision on. <laughs> Do you want to commit or not? Going with the first one. <laughs> uh, uh, but you are stuck in your head contemplating about this decision, regardless. So, is the Nine of Rods here? is feeling amorous, so you have your card up. <laughs> but both of you are moving into calmer waters. So why is the Five of Swords here? So now something's being resurrected. Is it your feelings that you're in conflict with? <laughs> That's true. Realizing that this is a past life relationship and now you are with your soulmate. <laughs> so what's the five of rods here? Communication, 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 and you're just going to head for it. So why is the Ace of Rods here? Indecision, still. But it's passionate indecision, nonetheless. Okay. Uh, the Semper is getting a little frisky, huh? <laughs> so why is the three of rods here? Uh, waiting on finances is just weighing on your mind. 
So where's the emperor here? Like I said, the emperor is with his empress. He's finally meeting your energy. So why is the seven of pentacles here? Because you know your finances are coming in. It's not more of an if as in when. So why is the two of cups here? The wheel is turning in your favor, bringing balance back into your life. So any other communication, any other advice for Capricorn? Way too much advice. <laughs> opportunities for you that are coming in. You just have to choose them. Yeah, and save your pennies if you can. But your ships will come in. And, yeah, this whole renewal process with your spouse will come to fruition. And it looks like you're manifesting something in, um, in your finances that you know is coming and you know is going to be good for you. And it's something that you love to do. But... That is your reading, Capricorn, and I hope you liked it. And if you do, comment, share, and subscribe down below. Like as well. Um, and I will see you again next time. Laters.